In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about EIP 1559. And to get you up to speed and make sure you're ready for this video, there's a few terms that you need to know before we even get started. First is Ethereum gas. Gas is the fundamental measurement of the computational fuel unit used by Ethereum Virtual Machine or EVM to process data inputs. These inputs require the EVM's computing power specified in gas, and the more complex the computation, the more gas it requires. The minimum gas for any transaction is 21,000, and requiring these fees helps keep the network secure from bad actors spamming the network. The second thing you need to know is gas price. Gas price is specified in GUE or GigaWay, which is also called NanoEther, the smallest unit of Ethereum equal to one billionth of one Ethereum. A transaction's cost is gas price in GUE times gas used. Gas price fluctuates with network demand. And you also have a gas limit, which is the maximum amount the creator is willing to pay for the transaction. The current Ethereum block size is 12.5 million gas and the maximum gas limit is 10 million. Now let's get into the EIP. And you first have to know what an EIP is. EIP is Ethereum Improvement Proposal and it's taken from the Bitcoin Improvement Proposals or BIPs. EIPs can be written up by anyone in the Ethereum community for all kinds of things, much like a suggestion box. In this case, EIP 1559, originally written up by Vitalik Buterin in 2019 and proposes a new transaction fee mechanism to improve the end user experience and represent a gateway to Ethereum's evolved monetary policy. It's become a tug of war between minor profits and end user experience improvement. If you are being honest with yourself, you have to agree that in order for Ethereum to become the world computer, then transaction fees have to be as small as possible. Transaction fees are currently a first price auction paid by the transaction creator to the miner that adds it to the blockchain. Since it's auction based, you can see how fees can get out of hand quickly when there is high demand such as what we see with DeFi or decentralized finance. EIP 1559 aims to change from using gas price and gas fee to a base fee that's dynamically assigned to each block based on current network usage. To avoid economic abstraction, meaning to use another token to pay for an Ethereum transaction, this base fee is only payable in Ethereum and is burned, not given to miners. In 1559, the size of the block of transactions is variable and can increase to double the current size of 12.5 million gas maximum to 25 million gas. If a block has greater than 12.5 million gas, the base fee will increase. If less than 12.5 million gas, the base fee will decrease. The maximum per block change is plus or minus 12.5% from the previous block. So it takes about 40 blocks to reach a 25 million gas transaction. What crypto miners are up in arms about is that in this proposal, the base fee is burned and not passed on to the miners for their proof of work. Burning the base fee removes the ability for miner collusion and gaming the system to ensure high transaction fees are paid to miners. The transaction creator can still include a tip, a minor tip called gas premium to entice the miner to add their transaction or increase the priority of their transaction to be included in a block. Burning this base fee will decrease Ethereum inflation and, depending on network demand, could make Ethereum deflationary due to the positive feedback loop between network demand and the Ethereum supply. The creator will also be able to specify a fee cap that represents the most they are willing to pay for base fee and gas premium. The current block subsidy or reward of two ETH per block will not change under EIP 1559 as it's currently written, but there are some rumors that it may increase a bit as a compromise with miners. To use an analogy that a lot of us are probably familiar with, the current Ethereum transaction model is kind of like going to eBay and bidding on an item. Whereas 1559 introduces the buy it now button. So you'll know what you're paying for. You'll know what you are paying for the transaction. So when comparing current Ethereum economics with what is being proposed, 1559 is adding a variable base fee that adjusts dynamically with the network demand and that fee is burned. 
gas used and gas price roll up and become gas premium or the minor tip or the minor bribe and all that goes to the miners then lastly gas limit becomes fee cap so 1559 has four main goals the first being to make transaction fees way more predictable for end users it also intends to reduce delays in transaction confirmations. It should improve the end user experience by automating the fee bidding system. And it also creates a positive feedback loop between network activity and the Ethereum supply. Since the fees are burned, if they are more than the gas premium minor tip, then ETH becomes deflationary. If the minor tip is more than the fees, then ETH is inflationary. EIP-1559 normalizes transaction fees, which is a good thing for onboarding new users since it's easier to understand the fees. It also helps prevent needless transaction delays for even the savviest of users. All right, there you have it, my friends. If you want to be kept up to date with all the drama surrounding EIP-1559, be sure to subscribe to my channel here and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about EIP-1559 and how it's going to affect miners and whether or not you think that I mean, clearly the Ethereum community and the developers and the Ethereum Foundation kind of know what they're doing with Ethereum because look at the value of Ethereum compared to just a couple of years ago. I don't know. I'm I'm still on the fence overall about 1559. I could carry the I really couldn't carry their way. I, I think that my personal opinion is I don't like changing something whenever it's so close to uh, Ethereum 2.0 proof of stake. You know, I think that introducing this into it might be uh, detrimental to the project, but we are all in a euphoric state right now with the mining rewards that we are seeing. And this cannot last. It can't, this cannot go on for very long like this. Uh, so that's just my take on it. See you guys in the next video. Or you'll see me. I don't know. Stay savage, everybody.